99 fire making. Finally, we have done it. I'm going to finish off this game and then we will open all the crates from 98 to 99. Alright, let's do a little slow opening. Who knows? Maybe I could get something awesome. More burn pages. Don't really need those. I'll take all the seeds I can get. Maybe a dragon axe. Maybe a pet, you know. Alright. We got about 15 left after these. Oh, perfect. I love seeing all the seeds. More burnt pages. Okay, I was wrong. The last eight crates. I'm actually reading this time instead of just looking. Yeah, still no pet, no axe. I mean, what can I say? Gotcha. What is up, everybody? My name is Sai, and welcome to episode four of Maxing a Level 3 Iron Man series. Now, if you've seen at the start of the video, we achieved 99 fire making and then we proceeded to open up every crate from 98 to 99. Now, if you haven't noticed already, this episode is going to be the shortest of the series so far. And the reason for that is it's taking me a couple of days to ponder on how I actually want to create this episode. If you truly ask me what I think about Winnetod content is I think it can be very boring. The content goes somewhat like this. Damn, I got smacked the f I don't even know what that was about. 17 burnt pages. Alright, I guess it is uh, time to make my way back. No level here, but uh, 300 kill count for when it's hot. I think 500 is 99, and we're almost halfway there. So, 92 fire making. Oh. <laughs> we finally got the tome. Or they can kind of be more aggressive, such as this one. I'm dry! Why?! How many crates is this going to take? So I've decided I'm just going to show you the bank tab of everything that Winnetard got me. And then I'm going to clean it all up in what I considered neat. And then we will go get the cape. And stay tuned to the very end to find out about episode 5. Alright, new scenery. We are in Sears Village because this is near... I forget his name, but he gives us the fire making cape. I have 99k pulled out for that, so that's not in with the grand total because it will be spent here shortly. Now, for the moment of truth, this is just about everything Winnetot got us. There's a couple of special items that are in different tabs because that's where they were before, but this is about it. I got all our logs right here, all going to be super helpful in the future. Here's any type of ore. We got 558 burnt pages. 1.6 million GP in total. I don't know if I can do anything with them, to be honest. Uh, I was asking some people, and people are like, oh, you should just keep them in case you change your mind of the skiller, which is not going to happen. So, And I can't sell them. I already Googled that, so I don't know what I'm going to do with them. They're just bank value right now. You know, here's some raw tuna, some salmon, some lobster, some trout. Almost a K pure essence. Here's anchovies. Now, limestone construction, probably where it's going to go. Don't know what I'm going to do with dynamite. Now, this is what is really important right here. Look at all these seeds. Only a couple of aventos. That sucks. Seven renards. You know, here's mahoganies, magic. Here's banana trees, watermelon seeds. But look, 41 terramen. That's awesome. Toad flax. These are all kind of late though. Maple seeds. That's going to be great. Here's all my my herbs. Yes, yeah, some people get mad that I say herbs. It's herbs. But whatever. Uh, I don't know if I got oaks. I already had a whole bunch stacked up for construction in the future. We have eight bird nests, which are really nice right now. 95 mithril ore. Probably some of that is from Winnetod. None of this is. Uh, none of this is from Winnetod, besides maybe the saltpeter, which is actually really nice, not going to lie. That will help me advance in Hosidia's favor. Now, these are most of the way from Winnetod, you know, my rubies, emeralds, sapphires, and diamonds. I don't think I got jades from there, but they're just, this is my crafting tab. 
And I don't think any of the other things are from Winter Todd, but I got three gloves, three torches, two hoods, two garbs, one tome, two robes, two boots. So I got two of everything besides the gloves and the tome. Now, will I go trade these back for pieces? Maybe, maybe they'll be done at the end of this episode. I only need to keep one set because as a skiller, I'm going to keep one full complete set. And we have 800K left over after I spend the 99,000 GP. So real quick, let's go get that fire cape. Can I buy a skill cape? Please, please, please. Okay, seems reasonable. Oh yes, let's see it. We got the cape and we got the hood. Look at that, guys. Let's step up a couple. Oh, uh, isn't that nice? Get out of my shot. Isn't that just one? Here, let's back up. Let's get the thumbnail like this. Bam. Look at that. So before you guys flame me, I guess I should do the emote, right? Voila. I create fire with nothing. But yeah, this is the end of episode four. I told you guys it would be a short one and that if you stuck along, you could know a little bit of information about episode five. Episode five, we are going to be starting the hunter grind. We are currently level nine. The reason for doing Hunter is eventually you can get a glory if your level is high enough through imps. There's actually one flying around right here. You can't get them through an herb impling. But you know, you know what I mean. I'm going to go to Piro Piro and I'm going to hope and I'm going to try and it's going to go super fast because Winter Todd wasn't good enough to me. I'm going to get a glory first imp that I can. You watch. I'm calling it now. But... I need a 47 construction before that grind so I can put up a glory in my house. And I'm very happy that we got 47 construction through Winter Todd. And I really hope it is 47. That's what I was told. I haven't really looked into it myself to be honest. But I'm pretty sure with everything we got from Winter Todd, if it's not 47, we could get the level. Now, I just want to tell you a little bit about the posting schedule on this account to kind of let you guys know that I plan on posting every Sunday. This was the first episode that wasn't posted when I wanted it to be because we went from 50 to 99. That's 13 million XP. I took my time with it so it, I did not get burnt out because that is a huge thing with this game. Now episode 5 is going to be late but I'm telling you guys now. Uh, this weekend everything for my new gaming PC should be in and I'm going to be building it. It's Tuesday right now. I'm going to start building on Friday and I'm giving myself time. I'm going to take my time building it. And if it's something you actually would like to see, I can make a video of me building it. You know, if you guys are interested in, you know, just a little update. But I'm giving myself a buffer so I don't have to rush everything till this Sunday. I can give myself some time, not rush anything. And in case something goes wrong, I have my girlfriend's laptop and I will hit the video next Sunday, all right? I'm just warning you guys now. It is going to be late just like this one was. But until then, I do appreciate you guys a lot. You got episode 1 to 1K views and that is a milestone for me. I love you guys and I hope you guys stay safe. Until next time.